Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. My name is Marta and I'm so happy to have you here. So yesterday I uploaded this video in Spanish and I got a few requests to do it in English. So here it is. It might look like it's hard, but it really isn't. You just have to take your time to do it so it can come out nice and I'll explain it to you step by step so you can easily recreate it. So I really hope you guys like it and I hope this tutorial is helpful. Before we get started, if you are new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button to be a part of this little family and turn on the bell notification so you won't miss any of my videos and give this video a big thumbs up please if you do like this look and now let's get started so i'm using the maybelline fit me concealer as a primer for the eyeshadows and i just forgot to show it here but i like to use that concealer because as you can see the eyelid isn't looking so dark you can't see the veins anymore it just looks nice and even just one tone on the eyelid all the way up to the brow bone and this is also going to help for the eyeshadows to apply really nice now I'm going to be using my Rimmel Stay Matte Press Powder and a fluffy brush from Profusion to set the concealer. This is going to be very helpful, especially if you're a beginning, beginner, to blend out the eyeshadows a lot easier and faster. And it's just going to be so much easier to finish the eyeshadow pretty quick. Also, if you're a beginner, I highly recommend for you to use tape. It's just going to be a lot easier and, and very helpful. I like to apply it from my lower lash line all the way up to the tail of my eyebrow, just like this. And for today's look, I'm going to be using this eyeshadow palette from CoverGirl, so saturated. And I'm going to grab this eyeshadow right here using this small brush from Coastal Sense. You can actually use your bronzer for this as long as it's a very light brown shade. Because we're just going to be using this as a transition shade to help blend out the dark eyeshadow a lot easier. And as you can see, I'm only applying this above the crease, starting from the center of the crease all the way to the tape. And you can see that it's kind of like the blended out area that's close to the eyebrow it's looking kind of like a straight line from that center part all the way to the tape I don't curve it at all so this part is actually pretty easy to do and you don't really need any of this eyeshadow on your eyelid just above the crease now I'm going to mix these two shades and I'm using Anastasia's little brush this is number 14 I normally use this for my eyebrows and I'm going to apply this looking straight forward because I want this to go above the crease kind of where I started with the brown eyeshadow I'm just obviously not going to blend it out a lot higher like as high as that first shadow and it's okay if you mess up on the bottom part of that little line because that's I'm we're going to clean that up later on but I'm just focusing on the top part and it depends how thick you want this line to be I don't want it to be thicker than the brush I'm using so if you want a thin line it really helps to use a thin brush like this one and as you can see I'm not applying any of this eyeshadow on the inner part of the eye it's all starting on the center and then going towards the tape I'm going to connect that eyeshadow to the outer corner of my eye and for this part is really easy because I liter literally just follow the tape so like I said having the tape right there is really going to help a lot then really quick, I'm going to grab the first brush I used. I'm not going to grab any more product, but I'm just going to use whatever's left on that brush to kind of blend out the dark eyeshadow a little bit better. And it kind of helps if I stretch my eyelid by lifting up my eyebrow just to help blend it out a little bit better. Now I'm going to grab the same Maybelline Fit Me Concealer with a small flat brush. This one's I believe from e.l.f. Cosmetics. I'm not too sure but I'll have all the products in the description box below. But I'm only going to use a little bit of the concealer to clean the bottom part of the line. And it's not, you don't have to apply the concealer on your whole eyelid. This is just to clean whatever like light brown shade is under the lines that we created. Just anything on your eyelid and under that it's just to clean that up. So you just need a little bit of the concealer then of course I'm going to set it using the same press powder stay matte from Rimmel and I just do it in tapping motions and I just want it to be the same shade as my skin tone you can use any kind of light matte or shimmery shade so now you can leave it just like that and just apply your eyelashes and a little bit of mas mascara on your lower lashes and it looks really nice or you can kind of do a winged eyeliner on the outer corner of your eyelid like this other eye over here and it's really easy you just 
have to pretty much connect that line to the center of the eyelid right above the roots of your eyelashes and I'm using the same dark eyeshadows and the same angled brush to complete that and again I'm not going to apply this eyeshadow on the inner part of my eye Now I can just take the tape off and you can see that it looks really nice and under that looks really clean and gorgeous. And now that I applied the foundation, concealer and all of that, I'm applying the same light brown eyeshadow that I used in the beginning uh, on my lower lash shine and I'm applying it from the inner corner all the way to the outer corner. Next, I'm going to apply this black eyeliner pencil from Rimmel to my waterline. If you don't want your eyes to look small, don't apply the, a black eyeliner. It's better if you apply a beige or a white liner. That's going to open up your eyes a little bit more. Now I'm going to apply this shimmery eyeshadow using the Royal Techniques Detailer Brush to my inner corners. And right here, you can literally apply any eyeshadow color as long as it's shimmery because eyeshadows are brown, so it'll match with anything. Now I'm going to apply these eyelashes. I didn't want to apply any lashes that, are, that were too dramatic because I want the eyeshadows to really stand out so I don't want them, the eyelashes to cover a lot of it. And the last step, I'm going to apply this mascara from Lancome to my top eyelashes to take off some of the eyeshadow that I still have on my lashes and also to stick the fake lashes to my natural lashes. Then I'm going to apply one layer on my lower lashes and that is a final step to complete this look. I really hope this tutorial was helpful. Please let me know in the comments below what you think of this makeup. I really hope you guys liked it. If you did, please don't forget to leave me, leave me a thumbs up and share this video with your friends and your family. And also let me know what other videos you want to see on my channel. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you all so much for your love and your support. I love you and I will see you in my next video. Bye!